Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a custom field formatter. In previous videos, we saw about how to create a custom field type on the field widget. And today we are going to see about how to create a custom field formatter. Uh, custom field formatter will helps you to represent how the data should be print, printed in the front end. So how that should be rendered. When you create a custom field, you have configured how it should be display in your uh, node editor ad page right now we are going to tell how the data should be rendered in the front end okay so first you have to go to your custom model so already we have field type and field widget folder under field you have to create a one more folder called field formatter in this folder you have to create a new php file so i'm going to create custom field formatter dot php and open PHP and include namespace. That is field formatter folder and class custom field formatter extends. This one is extends of formatter base. So here I have already namespace here, copy and paste it and add it there. Formatter base. And as like how you mentioned in the field type and the field widget, the annotation, the same way you have to mention for this too. I'm going to copy it fully and pasting there. It's field formatter. formatter so i am replacing widget with the formatter custom field formatter it is okay so field type also we configured we can include this in the field type default formatter as like widget how we did so default formatter equal to the one which we created now okay we successfully added a field formatter as we as like how we do, did for widget if you don't know what it is go and uh, see the previous video so that you can understand it well and i will add all the links in the description and next you have to create a function so first function will be a view element so view, view element function will helps you to print your data in the front end. So let's create a function that is an inherited doc. Inherit doc. And function is public uh, function view element open. And this one uh, has an argument called items. So item is uh, this interface element you have to copy and paste field item list interface dollar items and next one is language code so when you use a multilingual you have to convert your data to la multiple language so lang code and next you have to create a element array element dollar element dollar so before passing the delta value you have to mention items so when you add field uh, field will, can be multiple right you can add n number of field data to it right based on the cardinality so for that you have to open the for each here for each dollar items as dollar delta delta represents zeroth value first value third value like that item represents the single value and four so inside that only you have to mention the element of delta it's a delta value zeroth value or first value 
So I'm going to mention uh, it's a markup. It's a plain text track, so markup is enough. Markup. And I'm going to uh, print the value. So that is item stands to a value. And that's it. Again, I'm going to return the element. Element, okay. So now we successfully added this. Let's go there and refresh. Let's create a content first, article. Before that, we need to configure it in the manage form display. Go to a structure, content type, article, manage, display. When you scroll down, this is the field. It will not come. You have to clear the catchy. Clear it. Now catchy cleared successfully. So since we give default value, it automatically pre-populated. Just scroll up and save it. So now we configured a manage display default for the custom field. So in article, custom field check. In the custom field, I'm not giving for image tag and all. So this is the custom field which created placeholder custom field. Okay, this is the text we are adding. No product value under. Just save it. Once you saved, you can see the value which you uh, gave in the custom field. It printed as markup. And next, for the manage form display field widget under, we had extra settings, right? So the same way you can add your own settings for this uh, text field. So since it's a text field, I'm going to concatenate some uh, static text with the data which user is going to print. So I'm going to create a new function called default settings. So that is also inherited. Inherit doc. And function is public static function default settings you have to return default value for the concatenation so that is concat concat with i'm going to add extra space here and plus, as like before, how you are adding the parent, you have to add the parent default values. Default settings. And we saved it. And next one is a settings form. So it's public function. Settings, form. So always when it is a form, there will be array form. The next form state, copy the form state namespace. Paste it here. Dollar form state. And next, you have to create a form here. It's a dollar form of concat equal to. You have to mention the type. I'm going to create this at a text field. Text field. And next, hash of hash of title. So title will be. Concatenate 
with the text and as of default value. So you have to give the default value. As like how you are getting from the uh, default value, you can copy from here and paste it, get settings and close the form and return the form. Return dollar form. And that's it. We created the settings form, right? Now go and uh, refresh here. So you can see the button here. I'm going to mention concatenate with um, some text space. I'm adding space here, okay? Save it. Okay, default value not pre-populated. We gave here placeholder, concat, okay? So let's go and refresh again. So concatenate with the value is default value is concatenate with I think. Okay, concatenate with okay. So sample text I'm changing it as and updating and saving the configuration. So now we successfully saved the settings. So once you saved the settings, you have to show the uh, summary, right? How you're say, showing in the widget. So to show the summary, you have a function called the setting summary. You have to define that function. Inherit talk in at inherit doc. It's public function settings summary open close and dollar summary equal to and dollar summary equal to dollar distance to t of concatenate net with at concat concat in this at concatenate Placeholder will be replaced with the dollar distance to settings of concat. And that's it. Okay. Return the summary. Dollars. Summary. Okay. So summary is array. You have to mention here as array. Okay. So let's go and refresh here. You can see the concatenate text with the sample text, okay? So which you gave uh, inside the settings. Once this is done, we have to concatenate this with your front-end data, right? Copy the settings, paste it and concatenate, okay? So now go and refresh here. So sample text is concatenated as we configured, okay? This is how you have to create your own custom field formatter. Okay, that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.